Hello? Sir Paul. Hey, is that Maria? It's Mara. Mara? How are you today? How do you pronounce it? It's Mara, like marathon or marijuana. (laughs) That was what my assistant thought, actually. But then he was told it was Maria. Okay, well, so are we... Now we got it straight. Now it's good. Yeah. You sound a little hoarse. Is that from last night's show? (laughs) You know, I think it probably is a tiny bit, yeah. It's, um... Just, I could probably sing okay, just sometimes talking just as little. Okay, well, it's a good thing that you have a week off. How did you know that? Because I've been keeping tabs on you, Sir Paul. <laughs> well, it is true. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so a week off, and we're leading up to the huge show on Saturday night at Piedmont Park. We are so excited for you to come to Atlanta, Sir Paul. Yeah, it's uh, exciting for me, too, yeah. Have you spent any time at Piedmont Park? No, not really. I've been in and out of Atlanta over the years, um, but I haven't really spent any time in the park to speak of. Well, it is a gorgeous park, and the last big show they had was Dave Matthews Band and the Allman Brothers. So they thought, how are we going to top this? And they were able to top it with you. Oh, well, let's hope so. But, uh, yeah, no, it's it's a great thing. It's um it's a nice concert for me to do because I like like the whole idea of the conservancy. So, um, yeah, it's going to be nice. Well, uh, you were green before being green was really cool. You know, it's funny, isn't it? I think there a load of people really like that, but it is now such a, you know, I think the thing is now it's a necessity, isn't it? Most definitely. You know, then it was just a preference. It was just a, a good idea. And... Um, yeah, so I've been at it for years, but it's now become a sort of global necessity. So, yeah, well, so I'm, I'm glad I was, uh, I got a little bit of heritage in the subject. Most definitely. So we're so excited to see you at the Green Concert, Piedmont Park, Saturday night, August 15th. The mm. reviews for your shows have been beyond incredible. People are just saying it's a religious experience. Have you read any of your reviews? Do you care? You know, I don't read the reviews normally, but one of my friends said, you've got to read this one. There's a really good review after the Washington concert. I think, in truth, there's been really good reviews after all the concerts, but I don't read them. It's just sometimes you're reading it, and then you just see one little line, you go, ah, oh, and it kind of makes you think twice about an aspect of your show, you know, so I kind of try and avoid that so I don't have any doubt about what I'm doing. But uh, he said to me, he said, no, you have got to read this one. And I must admit, I did and uh, had great difficulty uh, getting out of the room because of a swollen head. <laughs> <laughs> well, you mentioned the Washington show where I read you gave a special dedication to the First Lady when you played Michelle. Yes. That I did. That, that was um, it's something I've been kind of waiting to do, you know, because when, when, uh, I followed the uh, election campaign and I was, uh, uh, you know, obviously couldn't vote, but I was a big supporter of Mr. Obama and I read his first book, Dreams from My Father. So, um, you know, I, I was very interested in the whole scene. And then I saw Michelle speak. And was very impressed. And recently she met my daughter, who was also very impressed. I think they were actually impressed with each other. So it was nice. You know, I sort of felt like I kind of knew her in some sort of way. And um, so, you know, the obvious thing, I, when once I realized she was Michelle, I thought, we know a song about that. So uh, I thought, right, when I get to Washington, I'm definitely going to put that in the set. We haven't had it in the rest of the tour. We just put it in specially. And uh, I'm very glad to do it, you know. Well, are we going to have any special dedications in Atlanta or maybe another sir, Sir Elton John, who lives here part-time? He lives there, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Uh, You know, I never know, really. I don't plan... I plan the show kind of generally so we know what's going on with the sets and the lighting. But... um, Surprises like this kind of just arrive organically. So um, I haven't thought of anything specifically at the moment. But just, you know, sometimes you're just doing a rehearsal or a sound check and you just tinker around with somebody and say, hey, we should stick that in for Atlanta. So 
There'll probably be something. And there you go with the organic again. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I live on a farm in England, and uh, we've been organic for years. You know, and when we started it many years ago, people said, "Oh, you're mad. You know, you you." never going to work and what's the point and stuff and we just said well you know for us it's kind of it's nature uh was the point really we weren't really we were farming but it we were not really for profit you know i mean we never made any money off it but um we just said you know you're going to get wildlife you're going to get you're going to get butterflies and you're going to see what nature has to offer uh without killing it right off with all the pesticides and fertilizers and it's funny when we did start we had one field that um there there were no worms in it at all for like about three years and we put the nutrients back in the soil and stuff so and now it's uh it's a good field it's normal it's back to normal but that is the danger you know you kill well i'm sure you know you you kill your soil and stuff so um Hey, it's a pity this isn't the farming program. <laughs> <laughs> we could get away with this. You'd be the ultimate guest. Yeah, come on. Well, um, just changing gears a little bit, I could talk vegetables with you, Sir Paul, all day long. Mm. Uh, but who started this horrible rumor that you were retiring? You know, I never know who started these. I just thought last night, I thought, what I'll say to that is, I'm not retiring and I'm not dead. Because <laughs> those are the two sort of major rumors. Uh, you know, Paul is not retiring, and Paul is not dead. You're not dead even after all these years. You're no, still no, not I mean, dead. You know, what can you do about that stuff? Just Somebody just gets it into their head. Like, you know, in, when, when the um, Abbey Road album came out, some American DJ, who I've never bothered, bothered to trace him, but he just said, oh, this means Paul is dead, because he's, cause he's not wearing shoes on a summer's day. And it was like... Uh, okay, you know, well, keep taking the tablets. Like, you know, it's obviously just coming out of left field, that guy. So I never knew really what to do, and this one's just surfaced on this tour now. A few people say to me, is it true you're retiring? Um, but it isn't, and I, I don't know. Someone's just made it up. You know, I must say, though, uh, over the last few years when I've played, the rumor always comes out, um, you know, this is going to be his last tour. And, you know, secretly, I sometimes suspect the local promoters. Because, you know, that's one way to sell tickets. Sure, they put it out there. The last it. time you're going to see him, folks, you know, ah. bring the kids. <laughs> but um, I just have to live with those rumors. You know, I just sort of, <clears throat> I just say, well, it's not true, and I'm not dead. Fantastic. Well, yeah. well I'm so glad, cause, and we're so lucky to get to talk to you right now. The show is going to be Saturday night at Piedmont Park.